Welcome back to the player career mode save here with Borussia Dortmund in the eighth season of this career. We have Ajax, I believe for the first time actually in this save, which is nice and refreshing. Some new sides to play. Also some familiar sides to play today. Hoffenheim again. They knocked us out of the cup in the last episode. We hope to get payback here in the Bundesliga. And then we also have Bayer Leverkusen away as well. Another side actually, I think we've played recently. Maybe it was late on... They knocked us out of the Champions League with Tottenham, didn't they, last season? Oh, I just had all the flashbacks. We're second in the Champions League group so far. In the Bundesliga, uh, Hoffenheim sit fourth. So that's actually quite a big game. And Leverkusen sit top. So both are big games. Ourselves and Leverkusen are both the only undefeated sides left in the division. Hopefully that's still the case by the time we get to the Leverkusen game because otherwise Hoffenheim will have beaten us. But we start up top. We continue to hopefully play well, score well, and fingers crossed, win well. Do drop the video a like if you're enjoying the uh, save, of course. I'd very much appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more of this save or the subsequent managerial manager mode save that comes after this uh, player career mode. When we finished, we will be doing a journeyman save in a manager mode. Also saying thank you to those of you that continue to leave your comments in the comment section of every single video. Thank you very much indeed for continuing to do exactly that today. We're saying thank you to William Fletcher, who's up there on the board in red, IB, who's in green, and Football Cam, who's actually in live chat over on Twitch. Thank you very much to all of you for your continued support on Insert Platform. And hopefully we can channel all of that support into a positive result in the Champions League. No, go away with your copyright. You copyright, you copyright, copyright. Don't copyright me, don't copyright play talk. Over it as loud as you can. Goal conversion percentage rate of 70% is unrealistic and unachievable. So we'll go for the four passes in the opponent's half, please. Let's see what we can do against Ajax. I have no idea how good an Ajax side might well be by this point in a save. Because they're a team that bring through their own young talent. So have they in this, in this save? Maximiano in goal. Anton Gay at right back. Kivior and Cuesta with Califiori as the rest of the back four. Mansferk, Marin, Kian Fitzjim, or Fitzjim, uh, Telmo Rodriguez, Christian Rasmussen, and Mika Gutz. 84 rated. Don't know who he is. On the bench, anything of any note? 81 rated Univar. He's kind of it. Right, let's go and get a dub then, please. Make the run. Craft with a through ball finds me well. And we're in, and Travell had finish. 1-0 Borussia Dortmund against the Ajax. Where are the comments about my lack of offensive runs now then, eh? I've seen you in the comments giving me loads of flack. In the highlights you don't see on YouTube, I do make a lot of forward runs, like that one. But more often than not, my teammates don't find me, which is why they don't make the... Highlights package on YouTube, which is why then I get the abuse in the, in the YouTube comments. Come and watch me on stream. See all of the behind the scenes and the full games and you'll get an idea of why you feel that way. And why I have a bit of a counter to why you feel that way. My second goal in the Champions League this season. A lovely tidy finish. Dortmund 1, Ajax 0 in the 15th minute. Goal. 15th min. Right for 18 yard box. Bosch, we're off the mark. Gertz, their highest rated player, gets it back there to Kivior. In the other game in our group, Cameron Maxwell McLeod has given AC Milan a 1 0 lead in that fixture. So Milan look to get themselves towards the top of the group. It's Ajax that were top after winning the game against Basel. We drew with Milan, of course, in the last episode or last uh, Champions League round of fixtures, anyway. Let's play that ball in there nicely to Rowe. He finds Kraft. I'm stuck on someone. So Kraft's gone for goal. And Maximiano makes a good save. But it very nearly was Dortmund 2, Ajax 0. Kraft, make the run. I'm in. No support. So we'll have to turn back. Here's Kraft again. He finds Bove. Bove finds Cade Cowell. And that is 2-0 Borussia Dortmund in the 45th minute. We will go joint top of the table. With AC Milan, if we continue to win here and they continue to win against Basel. And that one block of fans in the middle there have all just turned sideways to attention and aren't celebrating at all. That was very weird. They're bringing on Unuvar now. It was really the only option they had on the bench that was of any real note or quality. Bove to K. Cowell to me. K. Cowell's going to go through that gap. Just couldn't quite get the ball away before. Actually, 
the aforementioned Univar came and stole it off me. Bukai Saka scored a second for AC Milan. So they've doubled their advantage and it looks like they will join us at the top of the group stage because Ajax are going to be on three points. Ourselves and Milan will be on four. And I don't know whether it's done on head-to-head -head or goal difference. But if it's done on goal difference, we might have the advantage because we've gone and scored again. It's 3-0. Carbon copy of my first goal, only this time I hit it with the instep, not the Traveller. Borussia Dortmund 3, a rather poor Ajax side nil. Making a run, I call for the cross. It's not bad. Oh, pen? Pen. Un unfair, I think. I went for an audacious overhead kick. Maybe he's given me a nudge in the back. I think it's harsh to give a pen for that, but... Oh, I'm not on it! I'm on a hat-trick! And you're not gonna let me take the... You're not gonna let me take the penalty! 96 rated in fairness, but Dylan Rowe takes the pen, misses it by hitting the bar, and I'm not allowed to try and get my hat-trick. Who made that decision then? Well, we're 3-0 up, I've scored twice, and I'm furious. I earned the bloody penalty as well. That is not fair. Oh, Bellis. Tom Roth. I'm drifting. Gonna be in a good spot. Gonna be in a good spot. K. Cole finds me. We turn the defender. But still can't get the hat trick. The goalkeeper makes the save. Bove going off now for Connor James. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Why did he not just let me have the bloody penalty? It's going over me as well. Keep yours up. My guy's gone for another overhead kick. This time he does get the connection, but the ball's gone wide of the target. I can't move. I'm not going to get my hat trick. Absolutely furious. I'm so pissed. It's like the most clear and obvious way to get it as well from the penalty spot. So very, very rarely have we even found ourselves in the position to grab a hat trick goal. And the best chance we possibly have from a penalty... And it gives it to a teammate. I'm livid. Don't even think about blowing your whistle yet, ref. Keep bringing it, Pavic. Keep bringing it. Oh, I'm not going to get a hat-trick, am I? No, I'm not going to get a hat-trick. Oh, I'm so sad. A 3-0 win against Ajax. The fans are delighted. I should be. But I'm not. Well, I'm going to take it out on Hoffenheim if I can. Uh, with regards to how many hat-tricks I've had... I got four against East Bengal in pre-season, but does that one really count? We got a hat-trick away from home against Liverpool at Anfield. That one was pretty special, especially with a left-footed outside-the-box uh, sealer. So that's two, but only one competitive. Two competitive. We got one for Real Sociedad against Bilbao. Three competitive. One against Austria Vienna for Salzburg, and that I think was my first hat trick. It was indeed. So I've had three competitive hat tricks and four all told, thanks to the pre season one against East Bengal. But it should have been four competitive and five all told. The manager had given me the bloody penalty. Sag. We keep our starting lineup spot, however, unsurprisingly, and we will race away to now go and play Hoffenheim at home. Right, objectives this time around then. Hopefully we can get a decent set again. Four passes in the opponent's half, three shots on target, an 8.5 match rating. Judging by our last game, all very much doable. So let's see if we can back up the Champions League performance with one in the league. We did play Hoffenheim in the last episode and they beat us by a goal to nil. So we do have previous against them even in our short time in Germany so far. Could be a campaign to remember for me, apparently. I'm sure it will be by the time we get to the end of the season. But why will we, why will we be remembering it? Because we bottled another trophy like we did against Tottenham with the FA Cup final? Or because we've won our first ever treble in the save? We'll wait and see. Rowe goes for goal rather than playing me in. Rowe has the chance on goal ahead of myself again. And again, doesn't score it. Keep it in play, bloody hell. We're just going to run off the pitch then. Fontana, into Craft, row to me. Spin the man, spin the man. Ref! Ref! I'm getting battered about here. 
What's a man got to do, ref, to get a little bit of protection, eh? He's flattened me for the second time. Now Kovacevic is in, and Hoffenheim I might actually score a goal to go in front before half-time. In stoppage time at the end of the first half, I'm only on a 6.2, but I feel like I'm getting no protection from the referee here. Nil-nil at the break. Ezzy. Back to Jed Spence. And into Kovacevic. I'm round the corner to Illich. And Illich. Saved by Kubel. Ibrahim Ibrahim. Tried to square it back to the teammate in the middle rather than shoot from a narrow angle and just couldn't quite find his teammate. I've got the option to support here. It's Kay Cowell. He could have come back to me. He didn't. Still, we have the opportunity to get forward here. Arnel Martinez. Come on, let's win it late on, late on against them the same way that Lay won it in similar fashion in the cup, please. Fontana, trying to position myself in a little bit of a gap, but it's just not working. Roth, that's just rubbish though, pal, isn't it, mate? Let's be honest. Saeed, I'll put the pressure on. It's not going to work. I think we're going to draw this one. Although we thought that in the last, the last game against them, and then they pretty much now ran up the other end and won the game. We might do the same here. We've gone ultra attacking. Edin Terzic has thrown the bodies forward, but it just hasn't worked for us. Here against half nine, the same way it didn't work for us last time. Get the ball forward, please, Connor. Roth. No, it's going to be a nil-nil draw here against Hoffenheim again. Or at least it's going to be a scoreless Dortmund game against Hoffenheim again. Unless we do something now. Which I can't do. I tried a quick turn because I was sprinting as I was trying to make it. Didn't have the agility or balance to pull it off. It's a nil-nil draw. It's a frustrating game, but it's one that we haven't lost at the very least. But it doesn't necessarily help us crack on and close the gap to Leverkusen. But we are still unbeaten so far this season in the Bundesliga. So there is that at least. Despite not getting any of the ob objectives. Still in the starting lineup for the game against Leverkusen. I think it's only in a few days time. Oh, I know actually. It's a full two weeks away. Just as well then that we kept ourselves in the starting lineup, otherwise we certainly would have been on the bench for this one. Leverkusen won on match day seven, so the gap at the top of the table is now four points, but we could close it to one, at least the Leverkusen anyway, if we're able to win this next game, although the gap would still be three to Bayern if they win theirs. It's going to be quite the task to win the Bundesliga this season, but it is a task we're up for, and we'll go to the Bayern Arena and try and win this next one instead. Right, away from home then at the Bay Arena. Just the two shots on target here needed and a 25% dribble success rate that'll be pretty straightforward. Two shots on target should be pretty straightforward, although we thought that against Hoffenheim and then really put in quite an average performance here. This Leverkusen side are unbeaten so far this season. Now, if you cast your mind back to the Champions League with their, against them last year with Tottenham, they were really, really good. Like, an unbelievable side. 86, 86, 91, 86, 79, 90, 78, 77, 86, 79, 97. Okay, so not as good, although they do have Colin Murray at 93, Artur at 82, and 89 rated Rasmus Hoyland, and 93 rated Alex O'Sullivan, and 88 rated Yemi Frimpong, and an 86 rated Thibaut Courtois. So they are better than the 11 that they've put out here today. And that's why we got knocked out by them in the Champions League last year, because I dare say this team, we might actually have beaten. Moreira out to Nathan Teller, into Puerta. To Teller again. Might be lowly rated, but his pace is still very, very high as a stat. Kubel makes a good save to deny Violin the striker. The chance to give Leverkusen the 1 0 lead here, though. And from the corner, they'll go short. Gavi into Timo Werner and Araujo. Not the go to goal scorer from there. Puerta could have a go. It's been blocked while Howard Bellis tried to find me, but Moreira steals it off him. Werner! It's all Leverkusen in this game so far. Very much so. Gavi will go more direct this time. Towards the edge of the six-yard box. Keeper's come to punch it. Does get there. I'm available down the line. Rowe will not find me. There's not enough on it. Puerta gets to it first. Moreira. Mm, still, we can't get rid of this ball. And now, hopefully, we will do properly. Ten minutes to go in the first half. I'm on a 5.5, but again, it's just artificially punishing me for not having the chance to actually do anything because my teammates keep giving the bloody ball away so I'll try 
and continually get my match rating up. The best way to do that is to get a goal or an assist. And I might be able to do one of those here. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. 39th minute. It's the second time we've done that this season. Pick that out. 1-0 Borussia Dortmund from the edge of the box. Bosch. Floated, floated, floated right in the top corner. Tor for the BFB. All right, that'll do. Blanchard looking to burst into the gap. He's got Timo Werner on the outside if he needs him. And he should use him here, although he still wants to go solo. Still does go solo. Puerta, good turn. And now Martinez and Dylan Rowe get rid of it. And we will be 1-0 up at halftime. This is the battle of the two undefeated sides, of course, so far this season in the Bundesliga. And as it stands, one of them is going to lose. And Romero into Puerta and Werner. Oh, lovely little flick. Daniel Violin with the effort. Good save by Gregor Kubel. Oh, nearly intercepted. Violent. Now it is intercepted. Fontana does well. We'll take the advantage. That to Nanasi. Will he come back to me in a minute? No, he's gone backwards to Roth. It's fine. I don't mind not getting my objective if we overall get the result. Castello Junior, call for it here. Slightly unnecessary, but fair enough. Bove to Harwood Bellis. And out wide, nicely. Roth to me. Give that to Nanasi. Nanasi in behind. I'll call for it again. He's going to find me. And no goal. Well defended as it happens. Nanasi's won it back. Bove. Rowe. Harwood Bellis to me. A little dink looking for a teammate. Did that hit Puerta's hand? It did. I wasn't on pens, so I imagine I'm not on free kicks either, right? No. Not on free kicks either, unfortunately. So he'll go for goal here. Is it Rowe again that's going to steal it away from me? It is. And he's missed this one too. Might have to up my penalty and free kick stats. TBH. With some attributes. We'll wait and see if we're able to do that. Well, comparatively, Rowe might have 99 at this stage if he's 96 rated. So it'll probably be quite fruitless if that is the case in doing so. I'm on an 8.2. Probably... Could have picked up a yellow card for a rash challenge at the end. But the only thing that matters is that we won the game and we closed the gap on Leverkusen. We now remain the only unbeaten side in the division. And I scored a bloody worldie to do it as well. Well, despite scoring the only goal in a 1-0 win and getting one of the objectives, uh, I go down in rating. So, or down in manager favour. But the next game, I think, is only in a few days' time, I hope it is. So we should be able to get ourselves back in the starting lineup for the game against Basel. We shall with a quick, cheeky train. I'm curious to know what Bayern did on match day eight in the Bundesliga. Are we? Are we, are we, are we? One point off top, or did Bayern win? Bayern won, bastards. We're three points off top still, and all of us on plus eight goal difference. So despite beating Leverkusen, we're within a point of them still, and even if we were level on points with them, they'd probably still be ahead of us on goals scored. Oh, lovely. We've only conceded one all season so far, because that's just what happens in a player career. And in terms of goal scoring charts... I am second in the league still. Bull idea now with seven in seven. It was previously Fink who was top of the charts. I'm now joint with Fink, but still second. Lots of us on six, actually, including Beto and Daniel Violin. Plays for Leverkusen, who we just played. But Dia of Frankfurt has seven in seven. Not played every game, but still top of the charts. So fair play to him. Well, join me in the next one then for another Champions League game where hopefully we should get another victory. We'd like to think anyway. It's Basel, then Union Berlin, my last managerial manager mode side. And then Leipzig after that. So actually not a very straightforward episode, to be completely honest. So hopefully we can do well. Hopefully our goal scoring run can continue. We did score uh, two further, no, sorry, three further goals today. No hat trick though, thank you. Annoyingly, but two wins and a draw. Undefeated still, the only loss coming in the cup. Annoyingly, I wouldn't mind losing in the Champions League if we won in the Pokal, but it is what it is. That's all for this one today. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your weekend, because this will be Friday's episode. I'll see you back here on the channel on Monday for more. Ta-ta.